Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska is ready for the final game of the regular season between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Arena. Here's Copeland on the drive, and what a start! Here's Garner. Gill trailing the bounce right back to Julian Moore. And two dunks has us tied at two. Roaring back in that game, the Nittany Lions got plenty from Carr in the OT as Copeland hits a three. He's got all five Husker points. Kicks it to Gill. Gill in the corner, the three halfway down. Copeland the offensive board, oh. and the putback, and the foul. Seated so far. Make sure you enunciate properly when yes. stating that. Very careful with my words. Yes. As careful as Tony Carr is with the penetrate the inside of that three-point arm. And a good anticipation by the Big Ten Steals leader, Josh Reeves with the steal. Bounce ahead to Carr, and it's a one-point game. Beautiful pass by Josh Reeves. But during his four-game absence, there were one and three. Palmer wriggling to the basket. Beautiful move by James Palmer Jr. In the lane, you have to believe that they're going to continue to do that, be it with Copeland or Roby attacking from that high post off the drip. The lob underneath to Roby. Out of the timeout, they go right back inside. Right there by Reeves. Really good job of helping and recovering. Chamanga against Stevens with the left hand. Extra game. Chamanga inside, working hard against Satchel Pierce. Chamanga now left alone in the single again with the left hand. They showed the double, then they yeah. backed away. Reeves weaving it over to Stevens for a wide open three, and that breaks the drought. Five minutes and 16 seconds without a point. Back to Watson. Watson off the fake drives. The floater falls. Uh, Taylor, the lob to Ro oh, What a catch! Oh, catch by Rob! Oh. Finish. Holy cow! Stevens from the foul line. Hits his second. Reeves trying to add a little spark. Nice. To give ahead to Carr, and he finishes. Tack, not there. Taylor forces it up. No, got his own. Taylor puts it back up and got it to go. A highlight, now a low light. He'll try again, and the floater falls. Compared to the Penn State bench, as the step back for Lamar Stevens falls, and Stevens able to get Penn State back on the board with a deep two. Palmer step back three. Taylor with the tip, and the rebound corralled by Reeves, and then taken away by Taylor, and Taylor with the layup. A very identical play. They threw at the length of the floor to Carr, who was able to score right at the end of the half, but not the case here. Chamanga with the intercept, and a really solid first half for Nebraska comes to an end. Stevens over Roby, counted, and the foul. Nine steals in the previous six games in February, taken away again. Here's Garner to the other end, and Garner's layup, and Penn State chipping away back within 13. Attack. Palmer attacking. Palmer scoops it up and in. Just his second field goal of the day. Here's Watson. The no look to Gill in the corner for three. And what happened? Palmer on the baseline. The reverse one-handed jam. And a technical has been assessed to Nebraska. Reversing. Garner inside. Roby with the swat. Roby rips it away. Roby in trouble. Lost it. Gets it right back inside to Wheeler for two. And for Nebraska, Watson on the push. Gill in the corner for three. Penn State to make a decision. Able then to deliver to Gill in the far corner. Garner on the board. Just four points for Shep Garner. Something that's been a consistent emphasis from officials this year from the elbow. Nice jumper by Lamar Stevens. Secure the double bye and the number four seed as Roby got it inside deep and Roby flips it over the front of the rim against Stevens. Carr into the paint. His runner drops. Reeves with seven boards. Carr again on the drive, got his own. Carr in traffic, bucket and a foul. Got especially three-point shooting here this afternoon for Penn State with a one of ten. Watson hits the jumper, he's got six. Carr with the step through, found some room, and gets two. Yes, yes. Ah! Copeland tipped to Palmer. Nice recapture by Palmer to take it to the rim. And you know what? Carr with a crossover to get open for three. The personnel movement, this is three-quarter court. You haven't seen nearly as much of that from Nebraska, but a wonderful job. And here comes Palmer, high dribble, steps through, got the contact, no call, but the tip there from Roby. For the dead ball situation, Nebraska going to a little zone defense, and Tony Carr shoots over the top. Copeland, another good catch by Roby, and Roby gets the finish. Soft touch around the rim. 
Garner got free at the elbow, and Shep Garner, just give him a look. Put it to Roby and Taylor. Here's Copeland. He'll try the three, and Copeland hits. Bostic curling to the rim, and Bostic with the answer. Gets him off the dribble to the foul line. Good help out there by Reeves to contest the free throw line jumper. If they got it to Copeland earlier, he would have been able to attack and get to the rim. Speaking of getting to the rim, Shep Garner. A big miss on the front end there as Carr gets a little angle on Taylor and takes it right to the rim. Watson now nice. looking against Stevens. Floats it short, got his own, put it back up and in. Good follow by Watson, and a foul. Only one timeout remaining down the stretch for Penn State as Carter hits the deep three. And they get something going right to the rim. There's Watson in traffic, the floater is there. Watson into double figures with 11. Nice back cut, Roby to Palmer for a pair. And then Penn State will have to reset. Good work by Nebraska to get back. Reeves a little crossover in traffic with a left hand and Josh Reeves. Gave Purdue all they wanted at Mackey. Game you saw here on BTN. Mike Watkins didn't play much in that. They made the effort. Ball's just off. Bostic will drive and throws it down with a hammer. 13 wins in conference for the Cornhuskers. Nebraska wins it 76-64.